Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson. And get ready. We're about to begin. Today what we're going to be doing is um, looking at some countersink bits. Now what a countersink bit is, um, it actually looks like this. Now what this is, it's a drill bit and it has a little attachment on it that you can take off with an Allen wrench like this. I'll show you. Unscrew it like that on this side turn it around, unscrew it on this side, and this comes off. Now, basically what it is, it's a, this is a drill bit that actually comes to a point instead of um, a, a flatter head on it, similar to this one. See how this is kind of flat on top, this one comes to a point. You can see it better on my shirt. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how these work, I'm going to show you how you can use other drill bits with this little attachment that's on here. So it's really not the drill bit itself that's a countersink. It's this piece right here. Now see how it's, it's slightly tapered here, around here? And I'll show you what that does just a second here. Let me tighten this up. Just like that. Just like that. Now let's get ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this counter bit, put it into the drill. Just like that. Okay, so we're, now we're ready. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this down just like this and I'm going to show you what it does. Now, we're using this, so we have to put on these and we've got to put on these. All right, so what this does is let's say, for instance, we have a We want to make a hole right here, but we want the head of a screw, and let's just say we're using a screw that comes, let's, uh, let's just pick one. Let's use the, uh, uh, a small drywall screw, okay? What we really want to do is make it so that drywall screw sits flush with the wood. So if we were to just go ahead and drill this right into the wood, you'd have a little bit of wood on all the way around uh, the head of this kind of stick up because we're forcing it down inside. Just forcing it so where is this excess wood going to go? It's going to start popping up. So what we want to do is eliminate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole Let's say we want this hole right here. Now, what do you see? What's the first problem that you see? Well, the drill bit surpasses the wood. So let's adjust it. Because of these, you can adjust on both sides. Like this. You can move this up and down. You can determine your depth. All right, so let's Let's keep it there. Let's tighten it up. Let's tighten it up. Okay. Now, our spot is right here. We want to countersink it here, so we're going to go. Now, see how it kind of made a little crevice there. Now, let's see if the head will go in. Not quite yet, so we got to drill just a little bit deeper. Now 
Now that looks like it's going to be a winner. So let's try it. So I'm going to grab one of my drill bits and we are going to drill this in there. You ready? Here we go. All right, now look how clean that is. Nice and clean all the way around. No excess wood has come up around the surface of it because we actually made a, a, an area for the head of the screw to go through. Now that's called countersinking. Now, here's, here's something that's kind of cool about this, these countersinkers. I'm gonna take this out. Take this out, and I want to show you something kind of interesting. When it comes to these countersinks, got dust on it, sawdust on it. And yes, you can adjust the height on this, or your depth into the wood itself, because sometimes you just want to have a small screw. Sometimes, sometimes you have stuff like this, and you just want just the head of it down, but you don't want the depth to go too far. So, yes, you can adjust that depth, which is very, very handy. Now, let's say, for instance, um, you had just this portion of it here and you don't want to use this. Let's say you're working with a piece of metal and you got to countersink the head of it. All right, so that's a good, that's a good question. So, like I said earlier, in another video, Bits like this are typically used for wood, but this bit here is used for wood and metal. So I could do um, a sheet of aluminum with this or a piece of steel. I could countersink that. And how would I know that if this would fit onto it? Because on this, the one I just took off, it has a measurement on it. This one says, oh, what's it say there? It says, Three sixteenths. So I pulled my three sixteenths drill bit out of my Milwaukee case, Milwaukee case, and it fits on there like a dream. So now I can again adjust the depth of what I want. I can have it as minimal as as I want, or I can have it as maximum as I want according to the depth of the of the drill bit. So this particular drill bit and countersink set had a set of three and actually it is a DeWalt. This one I like. Again, I bought what I needed for the job. This had three different sizes. One, two, three. Three different dimensions. Okay? And if I wanted to use the steel ones, my steel bits for them, I have those steel bits and I can, I can adjust the different countersinks. So I'm pretty happy with that. This, this actually was a very good purchase. I enjoyed this very much. Now, also with all of this, to be able to take that off, it does come with an Allen wrench, which I like. So this way you don't have to go out and buy an Allen wrench because it comes with the kit. Very handy, very nice, I like that. Does this work? Does this work? Is it a nice item? Yes, it is. It's a very nice item. And I think, I think if you're going to countersink, you can certainly do that. And I think, um, I, th I think that's a, this is a good product. I would get this product. I would recommend this product. So I, I like that. Now, is anybody paying me to do this? No. Nah. Nobody pays me to do this kind of stuff. What I'm trying to do here is, is, is tell you that there's, there are, there are good tools and there are some tools that aren't so good. What kind of tools do you need for your bag is what I'm trying to get to you. What kind of tools could you really, really use in your workshop? Um, something like that. If you want a nice clean finish with a drywall screw or a bolt or anything like that, that's the way to go. You need to countersink them in to make them flush across the top. So, it's, so we put your hand across, it doesn't stubble across and it looks fresh, it looks clean, it looks professional. It looks like you wanted it to look good 
because your name's on that project. Well, uh, that's it for that one. And I uh, have a, some sort of subscribe thing down at the bottom. If you would, push that button and uh, uh, see what the other videos are like. I'd really enjoy it if you, if you do that for me. That'd be perfect. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.